Now, this woman... Uh, into... cat. Excuse me? As I transition from woman to cat, I must insist on being referred to as a cat. Objection. She's not a cat, Your Honor. <sighs> Chloe Jennings White spends her days confined to a wheelchair. It's tough to get around, and she struggles with living in a world that isn't built for the disabled. However, Chloe is actually able to walk perfectly, and chooses to live her life like a paraplegic, due to a rare psychological disorder called BIID. Despite wishing she was paralysed, Chloe still takes part in extreme sports like skiing. BIID has led Chloe, a Cambridge University educated research scientist, to harm herself in a bid to become paraplegic for real. As the first openly queer person to hold the position of press secretary for the President of the United States, I see every day how important visibility and representation are. It is important that young people see characters on television and in the books who they can relate to, whose life stories and identities inspire them to reach their highest, their highest potential. It's important that LGBTQI plus people are represented in government, in shows, in institutions across the country. And this work is more important than ever as the LGBTQI plus community continues to face relentless attacks from some Republicans across the country. From books bans to don't say gay laws, MAGA extremists want to roll back the visibility and progress we fought so hard to achieve. But LGBTQI plus youth are resilient, and you've heard me say this before, you've heard the president say this before, they are fierce, they fight back, they aren't going anywhere. And there are people from the White House, from the president to the vice president to this administration and beyond who have their back. We're honored to have the opportunity to be here today standing beside the first out lesbian press secretary in our history who serves the most pro-LGBTQI president in our history. We learned by the beautiful response to our show how profoundly important it is for people, particularly young people, to see themselves reflected in our entertainment culture and to know that they're embraced, valued, and not alone. We've been fighting this fight for generations and we'll never stand down. They may try to erase our stories from classrooms and libraries, but we're here. We're here today at the White House. And we won't be erased. We will continue to be visible, powerful, engaged, contributive, creative, loving American citizens. We're galvanized by President Biden's leadership from strengthening non-discrimination protections for our communities, to signing the Respect for Marriage Act into law, to supporting LGBTQI kids and their parents. And we're thankful to this president for giving us the first out lesbian press secretary who represents hope and possibility for so many people, young and a bit older. So to the librarian in Texas advocating to keep books with LGBTQIA themes on the shelves, we see you. To the LGBTQIA people leading their communities as rabbis, pastors, and ministers, we see you. To the LGBTQIA community in Missouri about to lose their gender affirming care, we see you. To the LGBTQIA community affected by the Dobbs decision in Idaho, Wisconsin, Alabama, Tennessee, we see you and to the first openly LGBTQIA press secretary, we see you. Visibility starts in our homes and our communities, and even if it feels like you're under attack, know that we see you. Know that we see you.